player Taylor Crabb reportedly tested positive after landing in Tokyo, bringing to five now the total number of Americans knocked out of the Olympics by the virus. No fans will be in attendance for the vast majority of the events because of that COVID emergency. All right, a live look now from our Jack Link's Eye Cam in Bentonville. A calm, cool, not cool, a calm, quiet night. What am I talking about? I guess wishful thinking. No, no, nice low 70s is not bad. It's yeah, not bad. Sometimes in the summer you can be lows in the 80s, so it's all perspective, right? I guess. Maybe. Sure. No? Any takers? <laughs> Bueller? <laughs> Bueller? Anyone? Bueller? All right, so looking south from Benville to Rogers, a nice evening out there. That haze is from wildfires, which are out west. You'll see that again to, tomorrow. You, that haze coming in off that high-pressure ridge is probably going to flare up your allergies. It makes for some pretty nice sunsets, but that's about it. Temperatures where you live are in the 70s. It's 73 in Fayetteville, 81 in Fort Smith. Pretty, pretty warm there around uh, the city of Fort Smith, just outside of town. It cools off a bit, though. 73 in Salisaw and in Poto. The high pressure ridge to our north has brought in these north winds, which has made it feel just a little drier and a little cooler. This afternoon and evening, we've had a couple of showers trying to develop here and stationary front just to our east. You can see in southern LaFleur County, one out there uh, just southeast of Tallahassee. So rain chances are not zero, but they're going to be pretty low. Now, I do think tomorrow, though, we're going to have more of those pop-up showers in the afternoon. Didn't have any today locally. Tomorrow we'll have a little weakness rotating around that ridge, which should give us at least a few pop-up showers. Winds also turn around out of the south. You can see some of these things starting to pop up in the afternoon. Sam, not everywhere. Not all y'all are going to get rain, but a few of you will get a passing shower in the afternoon and evening. And then looking ahead towards Friday, we're uh, starting the day off in the 70s and 80s. And again, more pop-up showers on Friday into Saturday and Sunday. Tomorrow's probably the best day for the best chance, at least, to have a shower where you live. Only temperatures, though, man, uphill. Normally, this time of year, it's 90, so we're near or below normals where we've been. We're going to go above normal, though. Normal for Fort Smith, this is the hottest time of the year for us, typically. Every year, you can almost bank on the second two weeks, of, the last two weeks of July, first two weeks of August as just being scorchers. And so far, we've lucked out. We're going to be in the thick of it, though, by the time Sunday and Monday rolls around. I think Monday is probably going to be the warmest. That heat wave should roll through next week. And if it's not 100, the heat index is definitely going to feel like 100. Most tonight, 69. Sun comes up already up to about 81 by 10 a.m. Should be in the low 80s by 10 a.m. too in the River Valley. And then rain chances really not that great for us as we head into the next seven days. Tomorrow, a couple of passing showers, mostly from about 2 in the afternoon to about 6 in the evening in the River Valley. Getting pretty hot. Temperatures close to 100 by the time Monday rolls around. So next time, Chancellor had kind of cool weather. I suppose is not until it, August. It looks like August second. I was really? looking at some of the long range trends, and this 90 bobbing around 90, 95 looks like it just holds for about a week, S week and a half. So it could be a month. Yeah, yeah one August is usually one of them. Yeah. It's really hot too. Till the end of the month, then you get fall colors. And right. It's back to spice cool. everything. <laughs> That's, That's right. right. <laughs> All right, Garrett. Thanks. Well, a shake up to the teams in the.